Hi, Chanel from Tips and Tricks HQ here, and in this video, we'll focus on accepting PayPal payments on a Shopify website. If you've created an online website using Shopify, an increasingly popular e-commerce platform, although you can't quite work out how to set up PayPal, the world's leading online payment service, this video will help you do so. Before I show you how you can integrate your PayPal with Shopify, there's a few things you'll need to know. Number one is quite obvious, but you'll need a verified PayPal account and a Shopify website. So if you don't already have a PayPal account, you'll need to do that. And then you'll need to create your very own Shopify website. Once you've done that, you'll need to make sure your PayPal account is a business account. If you've signed up for a PayPal personal account, you can simply upgrade to a business account for free. If you've set up those things, you'll be ready to integrate PayPal with Shopify. If you're beginning to stress about the integration of PayPal with Shopify, don't. Accepting payments from customers can be achieved in a number of minutes. In fact, when you create a Shopify store, a PayPal Express checkout is automatically created using the specified email of your website. PayPal is a default Shopify payment provider. While this works for the majority of users, if you have a number of email addresses, you may need to create a new PayPal account with the email you specified when creating Shopify, or alternatively, you can add this additional email to your existing PayPal account. As I mentioned earlier, when you have a Shopify website and you first create your Shopify website, PayPal is actually installed for you with the email address you use to create the Shopify store. So if you've gone ahead and you've linked a PayPal to that email address, or that was your primary email address for your PayPal, you'll be right to start accepting payments. So if someone came to my Shopify store and they purchased something, that payment would go directly to my PayPal account if they checked out through PayPal. While this is fine, you can't actually issue a refund unless you go ahead and you give Shopify permission through your PayPal. So you can do this by going to the settings menu from your admin dashboard, clicking on payment providers. Once that loads, you can scroll down and you'll see that PayPal is installed. But if we wanna go ahead and we wanna install it correctly ourselves to allow for refunds, we'll need to go ahead and click the edit button here. Scroll down a little bit and we'll need to deactivate. While this may seem a little bit scary, then we're gonna go ahead and activate it again on our site so everything's done correctly. So I'll click the deactivate button there, deactivate. The best part about this activation process that we're about to do is if you're logged in the same browser with your PayPal, it'll be nice and quick and you won't need to re-enter your details. So it's here, I need to select my payment Method, I'm actually in Australia at the moment, so I'll be using the PayPal Express Checkout. If you have the PayPal Express Checkout option available in your country, I advise using this as it's super simple for your customers to use. So I've clicked on that, and then I'll scroll down, and I'll need to activate. You can read the setup instructions here to activate. Although it's quite simple, you just click the activate button. So because I'm not logged in already in this browser to my PayPal, Account, I'll need to log in and this will actually give the permission to Shopify. So I'll go ahead, I'll click that login button just there. I'll log in. So this has redirected me to grant permission to Shopify. I'll need to grant this permission. That way it will be set up correctly and I'll be able to issue refunds in the future. So I'll click that grant permission button and then I'm gonna be redirected back to Shopify. So there you go, PayPal Express Checkout is now available on my Shopify website for my customers to use. So I'll go ahead and I'll click the edit button and you can see that it's installed because I've got the deactivate button. I'll scroll up. I can then also edit if I wanna offer Shopify payments or if I just wanna offer PayPal, you can do that by just clicking the edit button on any of them. And then I can also add alternative payment methods if I wish to do that. So that pretty much wraps up this video tutorial on how you can add PayPal to your Shopify website. If you'd like to see written instructions or see some other payment options that you can add to your Shopify website, please see our TTHQ blog.